Hello and welcome back to the Down Below Developer video blog discussion. My name is Steve. And as far as you know, I'm still Ian. Well, as far as we know at least. Uh, we are coming to you live from an undisclosed location, although it's not going to be live by the time you watch this. Uh, we've been discussing a couple of things. The last couple of episodes were a discussion on uh, the way the internet interacted with reality and computerized and automation. And well, you know what? If you haven't seen them yet, go take a look, then come back, and today we're going to be talking more about a story-building and uh, adventure-creating sense of the, uh, of the setting. So, today I want to talk to you about, uh, I guess you could call them bottlenecks in the adventure. This is something that uh, investigation, or let's face it, games that are not strictly about beating up your enemies and or taking their stuff run into all the time. If you're in a game that is completely about combat, then the equivalent of the bottleneck is the total party wipe. Or but the, we've run out of monsters to fight, where can we find more? Those rather lend themselves to a more natural endpoint. So we're talking about the kind of situation when you have found a bunch of clues that lead you to a certain place, and then there's one clue that unlocks a whole bunch of others, and you can't find that one clue. The Perhaps the, uh, the, 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 the primary example of this, the one that always gets trotted out, is a specific Call of Cthulhu adventure where the players are intended to investigate a series of disappearances, find a door that leads down into an underground ghoul city, and the remainder of the adventure is dealing with the ramifications of and escaping from that ghoul city. The problem is that the game actually does something very good you know, on one hand, and very bad on the other hand, because if you completely miss the few clues that lead you to the hidden door, the adventure stops. It's it's done. And at the same time, there's mechanics saying that once you fail badly enough at finding said secret door, even if the players are convinced that the door exists, you can't try again. Your character has obscured the clues necessary, or come to the conclusion that there's nothing there, you run out of tries. And on the one hand, I personally appreciate this. Uh, GMs have often run into situations where uh, if the lock is trapped, you'll just chain party members until someone opens it. That treasure is going to be ours, gosh dang it. And this relates to the reason that we have the failing forward mechanic that we've discussed in the Down Below RPG before, because what happens when you come to that scene where the players need to find a crucial clue or else they won't move forward with the story, but they're all out of investigation successes, exactly. and there's just no way for them to beat the information out of this computer, there's no actual people here, or whatever so, the situation is. There are a variety of ways around this bottleneck. And I'm going to talk about a couple really quick. Uh, I hopefully you can see how important it is to try to avoid this bottleneck in the first place. And that's actually what we're talking about today. Because overcoming the bottleneck is not something you can do once the bottleneck has been hit without a specific type of backpedaling. That's something we'll probably talk about later. Let's talk about not getting there in the first place. But let's talk about it tomorrow because we've already taken a good amount of time setting up what the bottleneck is. So thanks for falling through the cracks with us, and we will tell you how to deal with this problem we've defined tomorrow.